Right, last little bit then. So if you can read any of that, what I've written, I'll try and make that look a bit tidier. So that's 2r squared one minus cos theta. I guess really that this should be down here, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, right, so let's do some tidying up. So we're aiming towards the f like the theta is uh, 1 minus a half cos. Uh, the cos theta is 1 minus a half r squared now. Right, so the r squareds will go. So I've got theta squared is approximately 2 lots of 1 minus cos theta. So I can divide through, so I've got the half theta squared is approximately 1 minus cos theta. Switch it over, and cos theta is approximately 1 minus a half theta squared. Jeez, can you actually read what I've written? The, the board's ever so slightly out. Right, so this is kind of like just where the, the proofs come from. Um, just in case they give you a question like this, and you know where they've got a little bit missing and you have to find the bit that's there. So I'm using the triangle from O to A to B. I'm using the sector from O to A to B. I'm using the right angle triangle from O to A to C. And I'm also using the fact that because it's small, the length of the chord is the same as, as the length of the long edge of the triangle, the, the edge AB. If you can follow them off, so you can follow my writing, well done. <laughs> you know, I can't particularly follow it. Right, so I think that is it for that lesson. So, well done. I'm sorry about the five minute videos catching me out.